Hello everybody, Flick here, welcome to the contracts mode of Hitman 2016. We're going to pick one of the latest contracts and we're going to see if we can beat it. Give myself up to an hour to do it and just axing for a good time caught my attention. Use the effing axe by Hector000. So Lethal Melee was all of them but he used the axe. So it's actually good to know that Lethal Melee is just any melee weapon because that explains why I didn't get one of the criteria on another map I tried. So he killed all three targets just wearing his starting tuxedo but he found and used an axe. Let's see if we can work out how he did it. I do know where a couple of fire axes are, but I don't think any of them are where you can get to just wearing the tux unless you go on a sneaky mission. I guess where the targets are will denote partially where the uh, axe is. So, one, two, three. Now then, they're all in there on the right. So, he either snuck in there, which he probably couldn't do. We need to find the axe he found and used. That's that's step one. We need to find the murder weapon and then we need to actually, you know, reverse engineer the murders. So, he only used the tuxedo so therefore he was limited to places he could only sneak into. One target was right there. She must walk off at some point. Is there a fire axe somewhere in here? We might need that. We'll take the Yago code. This could be where you could get a fire axe. No. Scissors. I mean, you could technically use any melee weapon to do this mission. That's the thing. Fire axe in here, perhaps? I just realised maybe it's not a fire axe, maybe it's actually like a battle axe because there is battle axes in this mission. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hi. Yes, I. Oh. oh, are you? Um. So this is the weapon he used. Can I? No, I can't hide it. So he walks off. Oh, this actually could be a very quick one then. There's two. Now, three might be interesting because there's someone next to her, so therefore, how do you get her? Ah, also, because I uh, chucked the throwing axe rather than walking behind him, he got seen. Right, so we can't do this in a one-er. We almost did, though. I need to watch these two for a little bit to see how she moves. Yeah, get going before you lose our shot. But where do you move to? Yeah, I know. I'm just I'm avoiding the guard long enough to see the patrol path for the lady. Oh, now she's confused by what she's seen. It looks like she walks into that room as well, though. Be advised, if you come into my personal space again. I will take appropriate action. Yeah, piss off guard. I, I want to watch where that other lady goes. Here. It looks like she walks into that room. Okay. So. Relatively simple other than the final target. We've just got to work out how to get her. I think I probably need to, well, for one, silently kill the second target. Don't chuck the axe because the, the sound of him hitting the floor alerts the guard. So do it silently. Drag the body out of the way as well, probably. To make sure it doesn't get seen. Step right in, then I guess the final lady might actually go into that room as well. Doesn't seem that hard, but that's okay. It might give us time to have a quick look at a different one. So while they're talking about stealing stuff, is that the guard he's with? Realize you could actually pose as the security, uh, the cameraman back there. So we're ahead of schedule right now. Walk away, friend. Urgent. 
No, this is just in case the guy comes back in. Gotta remember this counts as trespassing. So, we'll just hide Mr. Body <laughs> in the corner. Now, I just need to worry about where I leave the axe and then where this last person goes. So we'll leave it there for now. And we'll come and hear their conversation and then see where she moves. I assume she'll actually go over to the camera. Also, I just realised she's allowed in here, but I'm not. Oh, she goes in there. That's even easier. And the nearest exit will just be the front door. So a fairly easy one, and it's just a matter of doing it as efficiently and as quickly as possible. Obviously if I would known she was going to walk in there, I could have waited in the next restroom. Would have cut off a few seconds. Other than that, couldn't really do this one much different. Uh, other than not doing what the person asked by using the axe, just use like scissors and stuff and chuck them. That was easy enough. Done. Fast forward the rest of that. Everything done as, yep, done as wanted. Anyone else tried it yet? No, I'm the first one. Didn't get max points, so I didn't do it fast enough. Max points would have got me to 210,000, uh, 210,000. Just axing for a good time though. It was fun. Let's go back to main menu and we'll, we'll have a quick look and see if there's another one that looks like it might be easy and we'll try and fit into. Contracts, latest contracts. There was another one I saw just before this. Um, yeah, if Luke's could kill, it's a sniper one. And it looks, yeah, use a sniper rifle, kill Helmut Kruger and his photographer with a sniper rifle. Now, I don't actually know how you get a sniper rifle in here. I guess that's how, although I don't see a sniper rifle choice here. Hmm. So that's not a sniper. Neither's that, neither's that, neither's that, neither's that. Hmm. There's a sniper you can find on the map, I guess? I guess there must be. We'll take a quick look at this one. I don't know where on this map there is a sniper, if indeed there is one to be found. So that would be a problem. I'd have to run around for a while just trying to find the weapon he used. Which is doable. He didn't change costume though. So I wonder how he got back to the, f the far end of the bottom floor. Yeah, they're way at the back. I mean, if there was a sniper rifle, where would it be? There's one place I can think of. It's the security room which is in the basement. They might have high powered weapons in there. I don't know. I've never actually been in there. I've only ever went past it. So we'll have a quick look down there, see if there is a sniper rifle in there. Enjoy your evening. If there isn't, then I'm not sure. But the security room is down here. And it's... is it back here? Yeah, it's this room in here. I don't think there's a... No, there's no armory in here. Oh, wait. That's a shotgun. They've got a shotgun and a pistol in here. No sniper. So that's not what I'm after. This could be the alternative way to get to where I need to be, though. Where are they? They're all the way over there. This isn't really putting me in a better position here. 
Oh, actually, yeah, it is. But again, I don't know where a sniper is. Um... This will let us get round to where he is without needing to change costume, but again, it's a case of where is the sniper rifle. But I guess we'll have a look. Oh, actually, that guy can see us because he's got superhuman vision if he turns to this side, annoyingly. I don't know if he does anything about it, though. He might just moan. <laughs> look at that, he kind of looked over. He'll look over again if I... Oh, wait, just wait for a second. Okay. So we're not going in here, we're going further around. Actually, in that shed over there, there could be a rifle. I just realised I haven't... I know what's in the other shed. There's some poison and you can grab a security guard. The security guard isn't using a sniper either. Doesn't look like there's any guard... Oh wait, there we go. There's two guards who patrol that shed down there. It's doable. Oop. And there's my pipe I can walk down. Hmm. Just gotta be cautious about those. Ah, there's a couple of the staff. I don't know if they can see through this disguise at this point or not. Ah, there's a guy in the window over there. I think he would see me descend the... the pipe, although he doesn't have a dot above his head right now, so maybe... yeah, this isn't currently counting as trespassing. Although they do get suspicious when they see a guy hanging from a building, obviously, but they wouldn't arrest me. Or attempt to arrest me. Oh, now it is. Oh, 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 oh. Careful now. So I'm going to wait for those guards to go past and then I'm going to chuck a coin over here. I should have time to get round the van. Ah, that's the shed I've been in before. There's there's no sniper in here. Hello? Yeah, we're good. There's a fire axe. See, one of those special forces guys through there, they could have a sniper, but I don't know. Oh, they just kind of wait there. Ah, that's awkward. Alright, I've got found trespassing. None of these guys here have a sniper. I mean, that's what I'm just going to use this opportunity now to have a look and see what guns they've got. They do not have gun uh, snipers, they have semi automatics. Fully automatics. Uh, what's in this shed over here? Is there a sniper in here? Maybe there is a way to set that you can br uh, bring 47's trademark suitcase in that has a sniper, or you know, you smuggle it into one of these locations. If I was to be able to smuggle it here, then I could absolutely do the do the shots from there. Basement stairwell, yeah, because you can put it in the shed. Maybe one of these do count as a sniper. Does that count as a sniper? I guess we'll just leave this one there because I'm not sure how to do that one, how to get the sniper. You can't conceal a, uh, yeah, you can't conceal a sniper, obviously. 
It may also be something you have to unlock by doing something in the story mode that I've not done yet. We did one successful one this time, that's good enough. Hope you enjoyed, and ta-ta for now.